Hello, dear children, and welcome back to mathematics class for class eight. Uh, <clears throat> we are we have already done exercise twelve point one. Uh, some a few questions are remaining, so we will continue with those questions. <clears throat> the chapter is chapter twelve, exponents and powers. The exercise is on page number one hundred ninety seven in your textbook. So let's continue with the questions where we left off. Let's start with question number four. The question is evaluate. So we have already understood what evaluate is. Evaluate simply means to <coughs> find the values, okay? To solve, to simplify and find the value. So first question is 8 to the power minus 1 into 5 to the power 3 the whole divided by 2 to the power minus 4. So this is your question. So <clears throat> let's change this 8 to factors of 2. That means 2 if I multiply 3 times. Okay? 2 or we can write like this. 2 into 2 into 2 to the power minus 1. This 2 if I multiply 3 times I get 8 into 5 to the power 3. 5 to the power 3 by 2 to the power minus 4. Alright? So this I can write as <coughs> 2 to the power 3. 1, 2, 3. And the whole to the power minus 1. This minus 1 into 5 to the power 3 by 2 to the power minus 4. Alright? So till this part. <coughs> now, Let's bring together, uh, sorry, before we go here, we have to solve this power, power of powers. So what we are going to do is 2 to the power 3 into minus 1. 3 into minus 1 into 5 to the power 3 by 2 to the power minus 4. So if we solve this, we get 2 into, sorry, 2 to the power minus 3, 5 to the power 3 by 2 to the power minus 4. So now we will take these two bases together. 2. Since it is divide, you subtract the power into 5 to the power 3. Minus 3 minus minus 4. Okay. Now to solve this, 3 minus into minus plus 4 into 5 to the power 3. <coughs> if you solve this, you get Minus and plus, so we will subtract. 4 minus 3 is 1. And 4 is bigger than 3, and 4 sign is plus. So it will be plus 1. Okay? Into 5 to the power 3. And this, 2 to the power 1 is simply as 2. 5 to the power 3 is 5 into 5 into 5. Alright? So when you multiply all this, you will get 200. So that is your uh, <coughs> answer for this question. Let's look at question number two. The question is 5 to the power minus 1 into 2 to the power minus 1 into 6 to the power minus 1. So all of these numbers are in, exponents are in minus. Okay? So they are in minus, so I'm going to remove the uh, minus signs in exponents. So how do we remove that? This 5 to the power minus 1 will become 1 by 5, okay? And into 2 to the power minus 1 will become 1 by 2, right? And 6 to the power minus 1 will become 1 by 6. So <coughs> we multiply these two first. 1 into 1 is 1. 5 into 2 is 10, and 1 by 6. So again, we multiply numerator, numerator, 1 into 1 is 1, 10 into 6 is 60. So this is your final answer, all right? The next question is question number 5. Question 5. The question is, find the value of m 
for which 5m divide 5 to the power minus 3 is equal to 5 to the power 5. So we have to find the value of m for which 5 to the power m divide 5 to the power minus 3 is equal to 5 to the power 5. So we will start with we have we have this question uh, this expression here. So I'm going to write like this. The same expression I will write it first. That means this is given to us. So with this I will start first compare these two. These two have the same base. Okay, same base. So I will write one common base for them. And <coughs> these two powers will be subtracted because this is divide. That means for m minus minus 3. All right. m minus minus 3 is equal to 5 to the power 5. Now this 5 m minus in the minus plus 3 5 to the power 5. Okay. So after this what we will do is we will write <coughs> comparing exponents on both sides. That means if you look at these two, left hand side, right hand side, the equal sign will separate them. Left hand side we have 5 to the power m plus 3. Right hand side we have 5 to the power 5. That means both of them have the same base, okay? The same base. So I'm going to cancel them, all right? And I'm going to write only the powers. I hope this is clear. I have cancelled the bases. I'm writing only the exponents, okay? So this <coughs> m I will keep as it is. This plus 3 I will take on the right side. That means 5 will remain as it is. This plus 3, if you take it on the other side, this plus will become minus and 3. If it is minus, it will become plus. Since this is plus, it became minus. Okay, children? So, we get m is equal to 5 minus 3 is 2. So, therefore, the value of m is 2 for which 5m, 5 to the power m, divide 5 to the power minus 3 is equal to 5 to the power 5. Okay, children? So, this is question number 5. We have question number 6. This is also evaluate the first question. The first question is 1 by 3, the whole to the power minus 1 minus 1 by 4, the whole to the power minus 1, the whole to the power minus 1 again. All right. So this is your, <coughs> okay. this is the question that we have to evaluate. So let's start. To begin with, we will first change this minus to plus. That is, to remove this minus, I will put 1 by, and then 1 by 3, okay? Minus 1 by 1 by 4. That means this minus is being removed. And I'm not writing 1 here, okay? This 1 to the power minus 1. Now, if I change this one, uh, let's look here, 1 into, okay, if I want to bring it up, this divide, I change to multiply, it will become like this, all right? So, we can write directly, this, the whole expression will become 3 by 1, all right? Because I removed this divide, minus, this will become 4 by 1 to the power minus 1. And <coughs> this will come as 3 minus 4 to the power minus 1. Subtract, you get minus 1 to the power minus 1. To remove this minus 1 again, I will put 1 by minus 1. So this will be your answer. Okay? Question number 2. The question is 5 by 8 
to the power minus 7 into 8 by 5 to the power minus 4. So we have the solution. So <clears throat> to start with, first we will allot, assign each of the numerator and denominator with the powers that have been given. So first I will write like this, 5 to the power minus 7 and this will also be written as 8 to the power minus 7 into, again, here we have power 4 minus 4, that means both of them are exponent, uh, have exponent minus 4 by 5 to the power minus 4, right? So if you look at this, 5 by 8, the whole to the power minus 7 means 5 to the power minus 7, 8 to the power minus 7, all right? And similarly for this, <coughs> now after this is done, we will bring the 5s together, 8s together, okay? So 5 to the power minus 7 by 5 to the power minus 4 into 8 to the power minus 4 by 8 to the power minus 7. So we have the base 5 and the base 8 together. So next will be 5, we will take common. And since this is divide, we will subtract the power, the exponents. Minus 7 minus minus 4. All right, into, again, the base is same, but this is divide, so subtract the exponents again, minus, minus 7. Minus 4, minus, minus 7. Minus 4, minus, minus 7. All right, now, this 5, minus 7 will remain as it is. Minus into minus, it will become plus, and 4 into 8. Minus 4, minus into minus, it will become pl plus 7, I'm sorry. Now, this will remain as it is. And the power, minus 7 plus 4. Minus and 7 are there, so we will subtract. Minus and plus, so we will subtract. S 7 minus 4 is 3. Now, check the two numbers. 7 is bigger, and before 7, there is a minus, so your answer will also have a minus, okay? Into 8, minus and plus. So again, you subtract. You will subtract. Now, if you look, check the numbers, 4 and 7. 7 is greater. So in 7, the sign before 7 is plus. So here also it will be plus, okay? <coughs> now, I can write this as, 1 by 5 to the power 3. That means I remove minus from the exponent into 8 to the power 3 will remain as it is. Okay? And now this can be written as 8 to the power 3 by 5 to the power 3. Right? Now, <clears throat> 8 to the power 3 means, let me just continue here. 8 to the power 3 simply means 8 into 8 into 8. And 5 to the power 3 simply means 5 into 5 into 5. So we will multiply them. 8 into 8 is 64. Again, we have to multiply one more 8. 8 into 4 is 32. 3, 8 into 6, 48. 48 plus 3 is 51. So I'm getting 512. All right? And... <coughs> For 5 into 5 into 5, 5 into 5 is 25 into 5, 5 into 5, 25, 5 to the 10, 12. So I'm getting 125. So this is your final answer for this question. Uh, question number 6, number 2, alright? So this is your final answer. These calculations, please do that on your on the right hand side uh, since i do not have space i have done it here please make sure that your calculations are on the right side clearly done all right so with this <coughs> we come to the end of this video all the questions that we have done till today all the questions that we have done we have solved so far these are all uh, based on the laws that we have laws of exponents that we have studied earlier in the uh, first video. So please, if you have any doubt or any confusion regarding the 
the process which we are, the method which we are using, please go back to the first video of this chapter, uh, the introduction video, so that you'll be able to understand what, uh, which are the laws and what laws and how, how we are implementing them. So until I, uh, we meet again, we'll, I'll see you very soon. Please take care. Please study hard and continue to practice. We'll, we will meet again in the next video to complete our chapter on exponents and power. So I'll see you very soon. Please take care. Bye-bye.